In March 2017. The left eye, yeah. Yeah, the Tearing left eye. At the yeah then it's like darkened, uh, so I think it's gel. Then really that was well, still yeah. okay. Then the How many days ago, next huh? day, I think that was two Thursday, days. Yeah. Thursday. Then the ago, uh, next days, day, days, the mm. eye become uh, gel, like bow gel. Only the Before left that, eye, there yeah. was, yeah. Before that, there was bedding and sand bath. Mm. But I keep playing and playing, and then I think it got into the eye. Yeah, stuck. it probably went into the third eye deep inside. Yeah, so. It okay, let's take the hamster out so first. We took out the bedding. Mm, let's take the hamster out first. This one is a young one, no? This one was a uh, 20 to 20 eye. How high you have to take out? Two years. This side, one on top. On top. Are you going to take out? No. I don't really have to bite me. Uh. Oh. I'll just, just do it here. Not slowly. Yeah. That's the way I would be him. Does he bite people? No, he doesn't. Doesn't bite people. Even when we brought him home new, he doesn't bite. Mm. Very scared. But you just know, be careful. Don't, the, don't drop. Yeah, he doesn't like to come out of his house. Hi, 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 no, hi, he no. always likes to just... No, at least he pee a lot. That means, I mean, he, he, he pass motion a lot. It shows he's eating, okay. He's eating uh, quite healthy. Uh. Okay, this eye is gone already because it's uh, too long already. Uh, left it too long. Uh. But that was just yesterday. Hmm? Huh? The whole thing is all dried up, yeah. But uh, he just pouch out yesterday only. Yeah, he's been rubbing it out. Uh. Oh. I mean, I can try and push it back. Uh. Gone means very hard to uh, go back to normal the, the vision. Uh. The other eye is okay. Yeah. So you've been rubbing it until the, the eyeball pop out, is it there? It, it's pop out. So it pop out. Then so I, if you push it in, it'll be painful, right? No, I, will have, I can try and push it in uh, under anesthesia. Uh, and if it, if it works, then of course it will recover. Uh. Okay. If it doesn't work, then the, the next stage should be to remove it. Uh. Surgically, yeah. Uh, that means no eyeball already. Then there'll be a hollow there. Uh, no, close up. Uh, the stitch up, uh, stitch up the eyelid. Uh. So you have to stitch it up. Uh. What? It wants to remove the eyeball, yeah, 36 grams. Uh. It's quite quite good weight now. But we don't want to cause any pain to it if possible. Uh. Since it's gone, it's gone. Uh, it's gone, then the best is to take it out and then stitch up the eyelid so that it just has uh, become a white one eye hamster. Uh. We call it. So it will be sleeping when you stitch it? Of course. Uh, it, not only stitch it, take out the eyeball also. Yeah. That day, that day they can see, that day you saw, so you show me the one. They did show me the eye wall was just on the Yeah, yeah, that eye is can still see. safe. Huh? Normally, eye injuries within 24 hours. Oh. I mean, those serious ones. Huh? Then you can see the eye wall. We don't eyes, even like, know that there is. It's three a... days, right? Yes. I mean, this one, even if I push back the eye, eye ball, might, might not be uh, normal, you see. So, if you want to take the risk, then. So, straight away, take out and stitch up? Huh? No, I mean, it's, there are two options. One, you take out the eye wall. The other one is push it back in and close up the eyelids so that it will reduce in swelling. Uh. But because yeah. th this is not a dog, it's a dog actually, the chances are, I mean, better. Uh. Uh, then he will rub his eyes, you see, because of the stitching. Uh. So, so they can survive with one eye? Can, can, very well. Huh? Survive mm. very well. Maybe he passed a lot of stool, this shows that his appetite is still good. Eh? Mm. Always this. pass stool. So. Mm. So you, it's because of the sand got in, then he got, got into his the, eyelid there. Yeah. So because we use sand bath and he likes to go to grow it. They love sand bath here. Yeah. But uh, they can't avoid it on right? So it's accidentally it went into the eyelid, uh, the third eyelid. Uh. Mm -hmm. They said there's a lot of discharge. Mm -hmm. It was three days ago, right? Yes. And the whole eye is gone already. Right? Yeah. Dried up. Huh? Mm. Okay. You want to see? You don't want to see? Uh. Oh, okay. It's quite common, uh, this thing. This eye is okay, yeah. this eye. Yeah. Yeah, very nice and not swollen. Yeah. Right. Oh. So, what is the process? Uh, okay, stop. Want to now the hamster is not so active, you can see the eyeball, which has been pop up. Yeah. So, the whole eye is actually damaged, the cornea, and uh, you can see that uh, it will be 
difficult to push it back in and stitch up the eyeball unlike the dog. In the dog you might be able to save it. Yeah. But it's only really been three days and uh, the vision may be likely gone. So the best option is to take out the eyeball rather than attempt to do tasurafi, which is to sew up the eyelids, push the eyeball in and sew up the eyelids because the hamster doesn't like it and will keep scratching. Now you can see he's not really that active as initially he was when he came in. So we'll prepare him for surgery, probably under the anesthesia and under electrosurgery to excise the left eyeball. The vision is gone and cosmetic cosmetically wise uh, if you don't do it the eyeball gets infected then the hamster will not uh, will stop eating will stop eating and then it just uh, rub the eyeball out yeah. when there's an infection coming in and uh, it just die from uh, infection of the eyeball and the surrounding areas maybe to the brain as well from bacterial infection so this is a situation other other than that is still very active uh. He's still eating, eating well. So don't wait till another two days when he's really can't uh, can't move to do operation. If not with this. So I'm going to give a uh, injection IM of Zolotil 0.05 IM. This Zolotil 100. So it's a very small muscle, so it's not much of a okay in already. Then uh, we will wait and, and uh, we will wait, put it back here, we will wait for at least uh, five minutes. Then, uh, then when the hamster is down, then we will use electro surgery to, uh, this is the electro surgery to excise the eyeball, cut eyelids and the standby of Oxygen plus isofluorine. That is the uh, oxygen. Uh, what do you call that? Oxygen uh, generator. So this is uh, isofluorine. Standby ready in case we need it. Normally we don't need it, but uh, so this is the gas. And we already switched on the electrosurgery machine to put a cut. There is a cut. Huh? So already. Even the cloth also, the tower is here. But this tower is a bit small. Normally it should be bigger because the hand, the hand might touch the, the this metallic part. Huh? Now you can see the hamster is going to sleep. Right? You see, he's down already. So get, get a bigger tower. And then once he's down, about five minutes I will start. You see, the eye is very swollen. See, it's full of pus. You can see the pus coming out as well. So, it's really a Considered prolapse or pro, pro, protrusion, protrusion of the eyeball. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In conclusion, enucleation of the dwarf hamster now is similar to the dog in a way that you you excise the margin of the eyelid. They said about uh, two millimeter. Then you exteriorize the eyeball. So, as in the dot, you clamp, you clamp the optic stop. But of course, it's hard to see in the in the hamster optic stop. You clamp, and then uh, of course, the electro incision saves a lot of time and. It's easier and also electrocoagulation for the bleeding. Then after that, we stitch up the eyelids, upper and lower eyelid, eyelid margin after taking out the eyeball. And uh, then you stitch up with 4-0. 4-0 absorber suture 
In this case, we use Novocin, but you can use any absorbable sutures. And uh, you top up, if the hamster moves, you top up with isoforin gas using the mask, the, the mask here. And uh, the success or failure of the surgery actually is your anesthesia. Of course, if you give too much, hamster will be dead. No? So that's why many vets don't, don't like to do hamster surgery. No? You see he's much uh, recovering. He's recovering from the anesthesia Jolatil, and uh, you can see his uh, head force stitches. Head force stitches where his eyes, where his eye was, the left eye was. Uh, eyeball had been removed. There is uh, some bleeding, a bit of bleeding here. But uh, other than that, other than that, it should be okay. You can see he's uh, still alive and uh, he should be waking up after half an hour. So there's a test of your anesthesia is whether the hamster will be alive or not. Now you can't see the stitches. The stitches are here. One, two, three, four. Stitches are here. Yeah. It's not very... Uh, Obvious, huh? Now this is a normal eye. It's breathing quite, quite fast. 36 grams is a bit underweight, but uh, he has excellent appetite, so he should be able to survive and uh, wake up. But after you can see, it's really quite thin when it's down under anesthesia. For 36 grams is thin. Let's see. Other than that, he's okay. Now there's some dirt here. The sand gland is dirty here, so we will try and clean it up yeah, for him at the same time. Yeah. See now, clean up. So that's the end of the surgery. Many owners don't really bother, but actually this sand gland was uh, full of secretion. It should have been removed long ago. And uh, the hamster will feel better. Normally it should be just clean. Huh? Many owners don't do it yeah, because they just feed the hamster and they sit. Now it's be getting up soon. It's about 10 minutes post-op.
the zolatil and sedation and anesthesia is pretty good yeah. for dwarf hamsters. Of course, you have to supplement with isoflurane. Isoflurane as well, as it may not be sufficient. If too much given, it will be dead. So, this is where the pet has to have the experience to use the correct amount. But it's always uh, isoflurane to to uh, supplement. It's already one hour after surgery. As you can see, the hamster has recovered from the anesthetic and uh, has passed one small piece of stool. Overall, he looks okay. Now I'm going to weigh him. He was 36 grams before surgery. Let's put him here. Let's see. 34 grams. So he really lost 2 grams from the surgery because the eyeball the swollen eyeball was probably 2 grams you see now he's quite active trying to climb up and escape and you can see his eye four stitches actually but it's not obvious here because of the colour of the stitch here so I will let him go back here and rest and uh, He's still got one good eye and should be able to live until the end of his uh, lifespan or so. No more sand bath for this hamster, much loved by the family because apparently he's quite a nice chap. He doesn't uh, bite or, or try to escape according to the owner. It's very rare because hamsters like to escape. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, the stitches are there but because they are purple in color, so you can't see clearly. And uh, the upper and lower eyelid has been stitched up, that's why you can't see the eye. A bit of bleeding, not much, not much bleeding and uh, he's really tired you can see he's not moving much now but overall he's definitely has recovered from anesthesia i shall give him some food it's a joy to see a hamster alive after anesthesia which is the main thing in this uh, success or failure the outcome is actually the anesthetic and of course the speed of surgery if you take too long uh, topping up with gas you just kill the hamster because they can't withstand long surgery. Hello, it's okay. He it looks, it looks a bit dazed. I'll get some food and water for him. March 19, 2017, Topaya Vets, Singapore. Enucleation of the eye of a hamster. So just remember that eye injuries are emergencies. You should uh, not try and treat it yourself with eye drops and uh, consult your vet, probably a hamster vet, because uh, many vets don't do don't do hamster surgeries and as you can see it's pretty small and fragile to do anesthesia. It just said we have over a hundred cases from the internet mainly so we have gained, or top airways have gained the experience to give just sufficient dosage of sedation and anesthesia such that 99% chances of survival after anesthesia is more or less expected. So this, this follows a bit, uh, a bit uh, tired. Normally they are quite uh, up and going but this was a major surgery so I'll let him rest